Okay, so uh, we're talking today about the Sentinel-1 and Exabeam, which are both solutions that are using behavioral technology to find bad stuff on the network, to find evil on the network, to find insider threats on the network, where Sentinel-1 is focusing more on the endpoint itself, making sure that wherever that endpoint is, it's protected against advanced threats. It gives you full visibility, and it will also combine protection with, uh, with active uh, endpoint detection and remediation technologies. So that means that not only I'm stopping most of the bad stuff, but if certain things are allowed to execute, I can still go and as an analyst see what has happened on that endpoint. I can contain that endpoint, I can do my analysis. Where the thing that's really interesting is where uh, we're getting all these logs that are also generated by, by Sentinel-1. We're also getting logs from other sources which Sentinel-1 might not be doing anything with, but where Exabeam gets into the picture because they are going to holistically look at all of the stuff that's happening on the network, who is authenticating where, what's the Sentinel-1 see, that we see any kind of process executions that are strange. And we're putting all this information into a, the machine learning engine that, that Exabeam has, and that is then going to give me a time, an automated, automated timeline that helps me as an analyst really get the full picture. Where did this stuff come from? What did it do on the endpoint? Which process is executed? Uh, what did I see on my firewall? And trying to kind of combine this information with machine learning instead of having to need static correlation rules is a, a very powerful way of getting to, to see the, the, the full picture. Now, where it gets more interesting for me is you start automating this process. So you start orchestrating and the fact that most companies have, even if they have a SOC, they have very few people in their SOC because these people are very expensive and very hard to find and there's a global shortage in people. Uh, the automation part becomes very important. So whether it's Sentinel-1 that detects something or on the other side, it's Exabeam that finds something through other sources like DNS or proxy or firewall or authentication logs, one can trigger the other by saying, well, hey, I found this thing here. Now, you know, with my API, I'm going to talk to Sentinel-1's API and tell Sentinel-1 quarantine at endpoint and maybe do some automated actions like pick up that, that file that was flagged as suspicious or let's have a look at the processes that are running. And now I'm not only automating, I'm also getting very consistent uh, execution of whatever playbook I'm doing. I'm not having the human in there to do the those kind of actions. So the analysts gets the output and can do his job but just analyze actually the facts that have happened and i think this is where the next few years the real uh, the, the future is going to be it's like getting these kind of new technologies working together and letting the experts focus on their job instead of tuning systems and gathering information manually